Hey guys, Dinosaur with day two, and day two of Inktober is souped. And uh, yesterday I got ink from this drawing on my hand and it's smudged onto this paper. And as you can see here, I've went over the smudge and highlighted it and had this guy's eyes going to it, trying to make it the focal point. Anyway, the basic idea of today's drawing is uh, this police recruit has a... Uh, a smudge on his suit and he's getting yelled at for it so that's, that's the best I could do with a, a smudge paper but uh, I'm really happy with the way it turned out and I did the basic drawing already and now I'm just doing the some of the finer details on camera that way it's much less difficult and much less time-consuming and hopefully this camera has the storage to get it all in the belt I'm doing cross hatching to also get some of that glowy stuff or I guess glossy look that you see with the belts in real life even though it's not quite the same here but that's the best I can do to replicate it See, these guys are modeled after the Columbus police. So this, uh, so the their pants are going to be black. So I don't, I don't want to avoid making things too many things pure black because that uses up a lot of ink. But also, if I made the belts pure black, it would be. A little less than what it looks like in real life even though the belts in real life are you know just completely black but they're a lot more glossy and you can kind of see this kind of diamond waffle pattern in the belts okay go in here get the brim of the cap While this thing is still fresh with ink. Just slowly but surely inking away at this drawing. Slowly but surely, slowly but surely. Okay, so now get this detail here. The patch. Okay, that one was a little more tedious than I initially guessed, but that still it still works. Okay. Working our way down. for the utilities. There we go, just like that. Very careful, very gentle with it. That way it doesn't 
the way the ink doesn't run where it shouldn't. Go back over this one just a little. Not too much, just a little. Just enough so that when I ink the pants, you can see the difference between it and the pants. It's how Rumiko Takahashi always did. Always did it when she had two things that were touching, that were also colored black. They put a just leave a space of whiteness in between it to indicate that it's two separate things. And I've I've always done it that way because I find that it's the easiest way to to do ink and still let people know that it that these two black things are you know two separate things entirely I always did admire that art style and I try to replicate it as much as I can because that that art Rumiko Takahashi's art style is very detailed compared to what you see in some other manga especially during manga during that time period and those of you who don't know who Rumiko Takahashi is she's basically most known for Inuyasha which is a very successful series, and the first series of her I ever read. And that that manga, it's, I mean, it's not an old manga, but for something done completely traditionally, it was very, very detailed. Maybe there were a few things in there that were not traditional, but you can't hardly tell. Okay, now after the pants, we'll have just a couple more fine details. Not many, just a couple. Just a couple. Okay, now in the name of not wearing out this fine tip marker, I'm going to switch to the broader tip, get this done faster, and use much less ink. Much less ink. So we don't want to use more ink than we have to. Just so that this guy doesn't look out of place, I'm gonna give him a black stripe along his hat. 
Just so that he doesn't look out of place. Don't want him to look too much out of place. Don't want it all to blend nicely. Get the flag part. The patch, the uniform. Give him a little bit of a shocked facial expression. And this guy, this guy's gonna be just fuming. Got the fine nib again. is suit it's October 2nd 2021 well guys hope you enjoyed it hope to see you in the next one as well God bless you all